tragedy hits the Nigerian music industry again. Hi, welcome to my channel. If today is the first time of coming back here, hello, and if you're my wonderful returning subscriber, hello, hello. <clears throat> That's just the best thing I can use to describe my feelings right now. Just barely two weeks just after the demise of Obama, who was David Doe's transportation aid, um, sorry, logistics aid. Today, we're just coming back from church for some of you who attended service. Coming back from service and you're hearing this news that veteran Nigerian music musician if I can use the word musician because he were, he's really he was really a legend I don't know I'm feeling bad sorry if I'm going to sound off off veteran Nigerian musician sound Sultan whose real name is Olaruwaju Abdul Karim Fasai I know I've murdered that name pardon me popularly known as sound Sultan passed away today being July 11th he was born on the 27th of November 1976 and today he demised the world which is July 11th 2021. Veteran Nigerian singers gave up the course at the age of 44 years. He passed away from cancer, he suffered from cancer and um, this cancer is actually a true cancer but medically the cancer is called and during immunoblastic T cell lymphoma, lymphoma is a throat of the um, is, a, is, a, is a cancer of the throat. And some time ago, the musician announced that he was battling with cancer, that he was down with cancer. It was not a hidden thing, you know. He actually announced it at the point that he was actually suffering this. But I guess nobody, do I find the truck is no whoever who, who prepares for death. Who knows it's going to come because you're looking at him in this video this video was um, on Father's Day he saw that video with his family you're looking at him he's not terribly too drained like he was not too down I don't know how to def def to describe it like if you go through his profile you understand like it's it's if you look at him you wouldn't know how far the struggle with the cancer was because he was trying to live his life he didn't want the cancer to determine how he lived his life. He didn't want to be seen as this sick, weakened person, you know. And I believe he lived the life. So he, he, he knew, whether one part of him knew he was not going to make it. And another part was just believing that he was going to pull through. But no matter what, he was just, he, he lived, you know. That's just the best way for me to describe it. He kept living, he lived life regardless of what life threw at him regardless of how what the doctor said you know <sighs> it's actually a, a very bad one 44 is actually a very young age with his children barely how old you know this is actually a very sad one please pardon the way i'm sounding like the whole news the whole thing is it's not digesting well with me and when i saw it i was like what is happening in nigeria waking up every day for bad news waking up to hear this story that story anyway this is the beautiful wife of the late Sam Sultan and this is his family he survived by his wife his three children and his family his family is asking for utmost privacy right now they want to mourn the demise of their brother their father the uncle and a friend to many so they ask everybody including us we bloggers to respect their privacy why they mourn the demise of their of their loved one it's a pity that those children you know are no longer going to see their dad but i just want to put it out here he if you check through his profile you realize he he spent most of his time with his children like he didn't want to leave and they won't have a memory of him like he celebrated them he be, in fact he, he I would say he's a father he became he was a father so i don't think no matter what yes they're not going to grow up to see their dad but he he, he imparted what most fathers who lived even to 70s could not even impart to their children and 
he's gone 44 years he's gone and i just want to use this medium to actually pass a message to whoever who is going to listen to this if you're a nigerian if you're a human our health should be our priority most of the time we 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 are so negligent as in we the way we we take our health mostly here in nigeria it really hurts me mostly our youths you know our health should be our priority you see a lot of people consuming things eating things that you know okay how it was prepared was not actually right it's not well you cannot consume that but people are not challenged people are just eating away eating anything they see and not just that they're eating it they're not even following the right measures they don't detox they don't i can't even begin to imagine things i see on a daily basis and i just wish i can actually smack their head and say stop it anyway back to south south and you know this is a post he posted on his page he said in the words of terminator i will be back i will be back like he knew it was a two-way thing like i said earlier it's either he goes or he stays Kansa to Kansa, Kansa has defeated him but no Kansa did not defeat him he survived cancer by living the right life impacting being, being a father being a husband to his wife you know leaving great memories you know and this is a post he made I think he said this is where I want to be right here with my music like throughout his last days in the last days of his life he was into music because music is him he sounds south and right everything about him was music and not just music he devoted his time to his family to everyone around him and like he knew that when he demised a lot of fake people who don't even who never appreciated his presence people who didn't even acknowledge to reach out to him when he announced he was down you know that's it all we can say right now is he lived his life he fulfilled his life and he left he left as a great man so south santa rest in peace um i pray your soul be accepted in heaven and thanks for watching if you watched to this extent please like and subscribe thank you